Oh, what is going on, guys? Agronax here, and welcome back to the live Pokemon Showdown session. Today, we're going with a UU team that I just built a second ago, and this is my first time using this team, so if it loses, I'm not going to be too worried about it. You know what? I just built it, and if it loses, you know what? Yes. We have Snoop Dogg, the Arcanine Choice Band with Flare Blitz, Extreme Speed, Close Combat, Wild Charge, Max Attack, Max Speed, Drill Bit, the Mega B Drill. First time using Drill, uh, Drill Bit. B Drill. I've never used B Drill before. Uh, Mega Beedrill. U-turn, Poison Jab, Drill Run, and Knock Off, Max Speed, and Max Attack. We have Rocky Helmet, Chest Knock, Leech Seed, Drain Punch, Spiky Chill, and Synthesis. Trident, the powerful Empoleon with Leftovers, and the Skull, Defox, Ice Beam, and Stealth Rock. Crescent, the Levitating Cresselia, Thunder Wave, Psy Shock, Moonblast, and Moonlight. And then we have good old faithful... N L uh, I could never say her name. Uh, your name. Lineru. Lineru, Zelda reference, with Dragon Claw, Earthquake, U-Turn, and Rock Slide, Max Attack. Uh, max Attack with the positive nature, because we want to get as much damage off as possible. And I'm not too worried about not outspeeding, because we are choice guys. So we're going to jump in right now, and uh, hopefully we can snag up the win. Uh, I haven't used this team again, like I said. This is the first time I'm using it, and if we lose, I'm not going to be too worried about it. Um... Uh, you know what, there's always going to be something wrong with the team, and the only way you're going to find out if a team doesn't work is if you use the team. So, um, we're going to find out the server, well, isn't that just about a bitch? <laughs> Alright, sorry for that little jump cut, uh, the server went down so I had to join back up again, and uh, we are here with a very, very threatening team. Also, if you are raging in the comment section, don't worry, calm down. Uh, I just realized that B drill gets protected, and that's what people usually run on it because the speed boost doesn't activate immediately. So don't worry, B drill is uh, protect now. So okay, my opponent is bringing a Dewblade, which is very very threatening because Dewblade has crazy defense. I mean crazy. It's like 150. It's crazy. We have Crobat, which is crazy speed. Hackshot, which is crazy attack. Whimsicott, which is crazy fucking annoying. Uh, we have um, what's your name? What's your name? Jellicent, which is just crazy and Don Fan, which is just crazy so uh, common weaknesses we see um, we see uh, we see uh, ice weakness we see a bit of an ice weakness in the crowbat the oh, actually like half his team Haxorus crowbat Whimsicott and Don Fan are weak to ice um, so uh, I definitely definitely think Drillbit can do the work here because like Hmm, I don't, like, uh, okay, so the only problem is the Dawn fan. I need to kill the Dawn fan as quickly as possible because, and the Dublade. But, Beedrill has knockoff, which will come in handy for the Jellison and the Dublade, so hopefully we can snag up a win here, uh, as I'm going to lead off with, he's probably going to lead with, you know what, he'd lead with either the Crobat or the, Don Van, so I'm gonna lead with Bowser uh, as he leads with the Crobat. Okay, so he's probably gonna go for the U turn here anyway, but just in case he does go for the Brave Bird, I'm gonna go on a Trident here as he goes for the Air Slash. This is actually a special Crobat, which is very, very interesting, uh, which is actually good for us because we can set up the Stealth Rocks now, no worries, uh, as the Jellison comes in. Now, the what is it called? The Don Fan being there is very, very annoying because it can rapid spin away. And definitely scared of one of his Pokemon having a Focus Sash. Like, if the Hacks versus Focus Sash instead of a Dragon Dance, we've lost. Like, right there. We've lost right there. So, the Jellicent is in here now. I think um, we have really nothing for this thing. Uh, really, really don't. Because I don't want Bowser to be burned. But at the same time, I don't think I have any choice. Uh, I can go into Crescent. Which, actually, I suppose is the better play. We're going to go into Crescent. As it probably goes for a will o -Wisp here. It uh, goes for the Scald, uh, gets the burn. Uh, it's no problem, doesn't matter too much. Uh, we don't actually have a heal bell on this team, which actually kind of sucks, I think about it. But um, I think we're okay. Now, hopefully, he doesn't go into the Dawn Fan here. He doesn't go into the Dawn Fan, we're going to paralyze the Jellicent, uh, and he gets fully paralyzed in the first turn, which is ain't that about a bitch. Uh, we're going to go over the Side Shock here and see how much it does. He probably will go into the Dawn Fan now. Actually, he stays in and takes a hefty amount. Um, and this, this Crescent is getting down low here. We're gonna go for Moonlight here and get up our HP because I really don't want Crescent to die because it definitely walls the Crobat pretty well. Well, it doesn't wall the Crobat, but it hits it hard. You know what? I don't care if Crescent isn't the Pokemon with the highest special attack. It definitely will hit. 
a crowbat hard with a sock. A sock. A sock. A sci sock. So a psychic sock. Um, we've been disconnected. Isn't that a being a bad about a bitch? BRB. All right, we've reconnected, and we have 60 seconds to make the play. Um, is it just me, or do we have more health? <laughs> I think we just have more health, but I'm going to over the moonlight here. It's probably because from the shadow ball. Um, we see the shadow ball come through. It does a bit over 25%, and this really, really sucks, because this jellison is just getting... Um, I, I have nothing for this jellison. Oh, my God. Uh, which is annoying because I actually took an electric type off this team which would have handled this perfectly um, But I think we have to risk it I think we have to risk the biscuit here and Go into Snoop Dogg and choice ban. He's not gonna go for The Scott. He's not going for the Scott. He's going over the Shadow Ball uh, We're gonna intimidate it as a go. It swaps out in a Whimsicott, which is actually really really great for us uh, really great. Now, I know this thing has Prankster and it does a lot of scary things. I am aware of that. Um, I feel like you'd actually go back out into the Jellicent. As weird as that sounds. Because I feel like he's going to predict either a Flare Blitz or Extreme Speed or something. So I feel like... I feel like... Yeah, let's go for the Wild Charge. He's going to swap out. Brings in the Dawn Fan. Oh, that really sucks. I was predicting the Jellicent there, and that's unlucky. But he's probably going to go for the Rapid Spin here, and we don't have a Ghost type on the team. So I think it's just a good... Oh, but what if he doesn't? Um... We're going to go on a Bowser, because no matter what, Bowser can eat up a hit. And he's probably going to go for the Rapid Spin anyway. He's going to go for the Rapid Spin. Uh, he's going to hit by the Rocky Helmet, which I actually forgot that he had it on him. But, um, he's probably going to go on the Whimsicott here, so I'm just going to straight for the Drain Punch. Um, he's probably going to do it right now. Uh, predicting a Leech Seed, which he does. Uh, let's see how much this does. This is a decent amount, you know, it's nothing crazy. I mean, Bowser isn't the most offensive Pokemon, so that's pretty surprising. But he's probably... He can't really do anything to me, honestly. Honestly, he's going to go for the Taunt as we go straight for the Drain Punch again. We get a Crit, which is fine because, you know what, they got a Crit last time, so it's just fair. Um, we're gonna go for another Drain Punch, and we're just gonna stay, you're gonna go for Toxic. That sucks. That kinda sucks. That actually really sucks. Okay, we... We're gonna go on the Drill Bit. He's gonna swap out into the Dew Blade. As we swap out into Drill Bit. Now, I wasn't predicting that, but we're gonna work with it. We're gonna go for the Protect here. Because I feel like he's going to go for Shadow Sneak. He's going to go for Sword Stance. Oh my god. Oh, what a play. That was actually a really good play. I can't even be mad about that. I cannot be mad about that. Now, the question is, I'm not staying in. Because he's going to go for the Shadow Sneak. Do I go into Bowser and eat up the hit and get Rocky Helmet damage off? Do we go into Snoop Dogg, Intimidate it, and then Flare Blitz the next turn? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I, I, really, I, this is a really risky play, alright? Because if he goes, he might even go for another Swords of Dance. Damn, he's gonna, he might go for another Swords. I have to go for Knockoff here. I have to. He's gonna go for Shadow so he can take me out. I couldn't take the risk. But now we can bring in Snoop Dogg safely. Uh, lower his attack and go for the Flare Blitz. Um, Shadow Sneak, he, he can go for it if he wants to, but it's not going to do a lot. If he goes into Jellicent here, I would be very, very upset. But you know what? We had to let Beedrill go down there, and it really sucks. Uh, Jellicent is a real problem for our team, and just the fact he's there is really distracting. Dewblade is going to actually live that and go for a Sacred Sword. Um, Oh, that really sucks. He's gonna go for a Shadow Sneak here. I'm gonna go into Bowser and get some Rocky Helmet damage off on this thing. Should it kill? It will kill. So, we got rid of the Dew Blade at least. We got rid of that massive problem. And we still have Arcanine in the back with an Extreme Speed if we need it. Because I feel like the Crobat is gonna be a real problem in this game. Um, we're gonna go for the Spiky Shield here. Because I feel like he might go for the U-Turn. Um, he's actually gonna swap out into Haxorus. Oh! <gasps> 
the place. Now, he might go for the shadow, I mean, not the shadow sneak, the dragon dance here. So I'm going to go for the leech seed. Uh, he shouldn't kill me. I mean, Bowser is thick as a brick. So he's going to go on a Whimsicott. Um, this Whimsicott is so annoying. Um, we're actually going to go on a Trident. And the reasoning behind that is because we can hit this thing with Ice Beam. And I'm pretty sure it can't hit us. And he's probably thinking to himself, what resists? Uh, yeah, I have to go for Ice Beamer. Uh, he's going to miss his Leech Seed as we go for an Ice Beam. That's going to do crazy damage to the Whimsicott, which is great because I need this thing to die soon. Um, we're going to go for another Ice Beam. Um, and he can go into Jellicent, but that's actually great because we're going to wait until the Taunt wears off. And then we're going to go for the Stealth Rock. So, he definitely... Hmm... I'm actually, I'm going to go for the Stealth Rock here, but I'm wondering if it has Water Absorb or Curse Body. I know that Water Absorb is cool and all, but I feel like you bring Cursed Body, because his team isn't especially weak to water. So we're going to see right now. He's at 100%, so it doesn't matter either way. We see the Water Absorb. Okay, we see the Water Absorb, because uh, it didn't affect him. So, hmm... That really, 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 really sucks. Really, 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 really sucks. I think he has this pretty much in the bag. He can't go for a water move here, so I am kind of I'm not safe. I, I'm not. I don't want to say I'm safe. But should I just keep going for ice? I'm gonna go for another ice beam. Actually, uh, it does as much as he gets back from leftovers, and it's literally. It's literally just us sitting here. Ice Beam is so... Trident is so important to this team. I cannot let Trident go down here. Because it literally hits every, everything else on his team except for this Jellicent. So I just need to kill this Jellicent. Um, we're going to go on Elenero. Take the risk. He's not going to go for a... He's got, oh my god, he misses his will -Wisp. Oh my god. That really, really matters. Okay, so... Does he go? Does he predict the Dragon Claw and go into Whimsicott, or does he predict the Earthquake and go into Crobat? I feel like he actually stays in. I'm going for the Dragon Claw. He's gonna stay in. We're gonna get a crit on the Jellicent. Uh, as he goes for another skull, doesn't get the burn, which is very good. And I'm actually going to predict him to go out into the Whimsicott and go on a Trident. Please go on the Whimsicott. He's going to go on the Whimsicott. Uh, that's lovely. And now we're going to make another swap. Are we just doing this? Are we just doing this? Are we just doing this? I think we are just doing this. We're going to go into Lanero again. Please go back into the Jellicent. Please go back into the Jellicent. Please go back into the Jellicent. He's gonna go for the Leech Seed. Damn it. Okay. Now we need something that hits the Whimsicott, but also hits the Jellicent. I can't remember how much the Jellicent was at. I think it was at the same amount as Whimsicott here. U turn should probably kill from this range. I'm gonna go for the U turn. I'm gonna really regret that if he goes into the He's gone into Crobat. Okay. The Rock Slide would have been amazing there. Uh. We're going to go into Trident because we have the Ice Beam. Um, and what I'm really doing here, I just want I just want the Jellicent to come in, out, and in, and out, and in, and out as much times. Because Trident is scaring the Don fan. While it can hit me with an Earthquake, um, me scalding him is much more important. So he's going to go for the Shadow Ball here. It, actually, it's a special Crobat as well. So it dies upon entry. Upon entry. What would he go into here? To resist the ice beam. Only the gelatin, so we can't go for skulls. So there's no reason not to go for the other ice beam. Uh, we're gonna go for another ice beam, it's gonna kill the crowbat. Now, if he brings in the Donphan, the good thing is actually I think Trident outspeeds the Donphan. I'd be surprised if he doesn't. He's gonna bring in Haxorus. Uh, I'd probably go for the Earthquake. So I'm gonna go into Crescent. Uh, don't go for Dragon Nets. Gonna go What? Oh he has mold breaker. Shiznizzle. Damn it, another earthquake kills me now. We're gonna go for the Thunder Wave, maybe he... He's going for the Dragon! You greedy mother smunker. Oh, we paralyzed the Haxorus, which might not even matter in the end. I'm actually gonna go for Moonblast here, not even gonna uh, waste. He might go for another one, so I'm not gonna bother healing up. Moonblast does so much damage. 
Uh, it's gonna go for another one. You cheeky, cheeky bugger. You cheeky, cheeky bugger. Oh, my opponent has disconnected. He might have just been like, fuck this. So I think that's what he did. But um, I think right here, he might have predicted the Moonblast and gone back out into... Does Fairy resist Fairy? I feel like he doesn't. I don't know why. It's one of those things. Um, but he, I feel like he just went into Jellison. I think he would have been an... I don't know if he's just disconnected or it's just one of those things where it's just unlucky. He probably will join any second now. Um, but I think... I don't know if we win because it's really, really close. I mean, it's it comes down to if we kill the Jellison or not. And the Jellison is so low... Eh, such a low rate that I think Lanayru comes in, Dragon Closet, and just kills it. I feel like that's what happens. Because when we kill the Whimsicott... Actually, now that we killed the Crobat, we can just Earthquake away with Lanayru. So I feel like we win. I do feel like we win. Uh, but he's disconnected, so I'm going to chalk that up as a win for us. We had more Pokemon, and I feel like the... The uh, momentum was in our favor. So that's all from me, Agronix. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Uh, subscribe for more videos. Comment down below. Do all that just down below. And I'll see you guys in another live Pokemon Showdown session. Bye-bye. Sayonara. Bye. Yeah.